Teensy 4.1 versus Raspberry Pi 4B. In my original design, there is one Teensy microprocessor per hammer encoder PCB. But I recently wondered, what if I use a Raspberry Pi instead? Because a Raspberry Pi runs Linux. So I could add monitors to display hammer motion in real time. And I could mount a drive to store terabytes of hammer data locally, send that data wirelessly around the world, and add cameras to monitor hammer motions and correlate to note dynamics. With all of that awesome data, develop machine learning algorithms to predict what I will play before it happens, and construct a super cool 11 node intermeshed high performance computing network. <laughs> okay, right. The first step, however, is to understand the real time nature of a Raspberry Pi because data transfers must happen at least 8,000 samples per second, and ultimately, I would like to run at a ludicrous speed of 32,000. So it is back to the test system and that analog e-bell board and toy piano hammer, which really have been a workhorse anytime I try something new. Here is my Teensy software, replace with Raspberry. And it can talk MIDI directly, which saves an intermediate data transfer write a new driver, which is the subject of this video, but reuse my Hammer Dynamics C++ code. Whenever starting up a new system, I always check that the power supplies are connected correctly. The first thing I discovered is that the Raspberry Pi mode, the SPI mode default change data on the falling edge of the clock. The converter wants that change on the rising edge. So I modified my driver code for the new SPI mode and now the timing is correct. Let's try playing a note. Immediately, I get an error from my software that data ready is not high. Hmm. Okay, what's happening? Well, the SPI protocol is simple. I receive a data ready from the converter, then my code asserts chip select, transfers the data, I process the data with my software, but then get stuck here. Every few seconds, my software prints the value received from the ADC. 0.188 on a scale of 0 to 1 is about what I expect for the hammer at rest. So that's a good sign. And let's see, 0 0.82 is great for a hammer near the string. I even occasionally get a note through, but not reliably. The hammer is hitting, but no note is playing. Looking at the oscilloscope data, it's pretty clear that something is wrong. My code automatically adjusts the algorithm depending on the sample rate, so that makes it easy to slow the sample rate from 8,000 to 4,000. Yay, software. Individual transfers then clean up, but occasionally completely stop. What is this telling me? Another process took control of my microprocessor. Let's try 500 samples per second. That works better, uh, but now I'm, I'm getting some ideas about how to make this Raspberry perform awesome for sub-millisecond real time. 250 is super reliable, but way too slow. There's this weird bug in my code where at this slow sample rate, <laughs> sometimes all the notes play, which I think is pretty funny. At this point, my project can go in one of three directions. I have the parts and boards to build everything according to my original design, or I may continue to investigate real-time Raspberry performance, or this little detour has given me an idea about another processing option. <laughs>